Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Carl Elwine, Elwine Engines. Uh, today is a Tech Tuesday, and it's going to be quick and simple, time lapse. You get a junkyard motor and a uh, small block Chevy. I have a couple LT1s. One looks like it's a Camaro motor. The other one looks like an Impala motor, or it could be a Cap Rice, either one. Iron heads on the Impala motor, aluminum heads on F-Body. Hey, it could be a Corvette, and if it is, if, you, if we find four bolt mains, it was a Corvette. Uh, so it's going to be in time lapse and stopping at oh, notable places. It'll be fun. Let's rip this thing down so I can have some room in my garage to do some tuning and do some other things, get my cars in there. One important thing before you take the oil pan off, you need to take this oil level sensor. It's not a level sensor, it's a switch. This has to come off. I just use a crescent wrench. This is in good shape and you save it. One thing I did before I put that on the uh, the engine on the engine stand was I got the flex plate off. And sometimes you know you you'll round your uh, bolt heads off trying to get the, the bolts off. I learned from Nabil Guffey use a 14 millimeter and make it a six point. Like a 12 point will kind of round on these, but 916 fits 14 fits even better. So use a 14. Get this off before you put it on. And uh, if the bolts are good, save the flex plate bolts. Save the flex plate, you could uh, always use it. These are counterweighted and they're very universal. It's 153, 153 tooth um, and it's the one piece rear main flex plate. It could be used like for trucks, 90s trucks.
side of the Impella SS. Stock manifold has not been removed. Those are stock Impella gla uh, gaskets. That's the oil pump drive. Just takes the place of a uh, distributor to drive the oil pump. There's a, well, I'd say, you know, a conventional oil being used. It's carboned up. If the person did frequent oil changes and used synthetic, you wouldn't see any of the carbon. Typical when you, pistons are usually cleaner. This motor set for a while, but that's a lot of carbon. There's the uh, Vortex heads. I don't know the chamber size, you know, maybe it's 58 cc, pretty small. This engine looks like it's gonna be in good shape. didn't have a, the head gaskets were in good shape and it doesn't have a evidence of a coolant leaking or a crack cylinders and these are stock pistons so it hasn't been rebuilt um, I throw away the heads I don't need the heads I always save the intake manifold I always save the pistons and rods um, the spider Save this uh, lifter spider. Save this because it's a good core. I'll take the lifters and I'll save them forever. Um, never use them, but I'll save them. Give them away if you if you uh, need a pair, a set, what, a pair. <laughs> anyway, let's get to the hub. To the hub next. But anyway, you get a new gear when you're doing your new engine. Moisture, I think, not from just from sitting. It's not too bad. Good looking inside this. These are these are valuable because if you buy these again, I don't know from the factory, they're overpriced. So make sure you keep these.
these can be definitely reused and they don't make them again. And if this is in good shape, keep it. Pull the cam out. I just grab the cam with a screwdriver. So I can two-hand it. Stop cam here. I want to save this pin because it it's the uh, it's a longer pin, so you save it. steel ball out of here because that is a really good plug. It, it's an oil galley plug. <laughs> now this is an oil galley plug. But I just use a long skinny um, rod and tap her out. This is very, I save all these because it makes, it, it's one of the best plugs for that oil galley. It's underneath the main cap, the rear main cap. So you can't get to it when this is on. So when this is off, it just sits in the galley. It divides the oil filter and the main galley. So if it's not in here, oil will just bypass the oil filter. It won't be the end of the world. You'll have a little bit higher oil pressure and, um, but you won't have filtered oil. Anyway, the steel ball, I save these. All right. Carl Elwine, Elwine Engines, take care. Okay, so check here. This I put it in there, it's a little too long and it bent. So you need to put something <laughs> stronger than this and something that won't bend to push against in there. Lesson learned. Let's try again. Let's see what else I can do. To push against. This will be strong. Aha! Uh -huh. Another hope. That should do the trick. Hug bolt. 